Thousands of Americans moved to Portugal in the last three years, lured by the coastal nation's cheap real estate, tax advantages, and relaxed lifestyle. But now, the honeymoon period is over. For years, Portugal has been trying to attract foreign residents as part of an effort to bring more investment into the country. A decade ago, it introduced its Residency by Investment Golden Visa program. And in 2022, it launched a digital nomad visa for remote workers. The strategy worked. The number of foreign residents in Portugal rose 40% in the past decade to an all-time high of more than 555,000 and the number of Americans more than tripled to almost 10,000 between 2018 and 2022. But the trend seems to be reversing. It took Carrie Lane two months to move back to the US when her plans to retire in Portugal disappointed. The 58-year-old from Duluth, Minnesota encountered challenges finding permanent housing and proper care for her chronic eye condition. I'm homeless, I don't know what to do, my eye's acting up. And I have this condition that if I don't take care of it, I could be blind in that eye. The doctor didn't take it seriously in Portugal. And so I went home. Carrie is not alone. Get Golden Visa, an international advisory firm, saw a 37% decrease in American inquiries for its Portugal programs in the first quarter of the year, compared to the same period last year. Many expats were put off by bureaucratic challenges, limited public transit, and rising housing costs fueled by the influx of new residents. Home prices jumped almost 19% in 2022 from the previous year, the largest annual gain since 1991. To tackle the housing problem, Portugal's government ended its golden visa scheme in February. But that's not to say moving hasn't worked out for all new residents. Experts say the digital nomad visa continues to be popular. 